Hello and welcome to another tutorial. I'm Robin and today I want to show you how to make this um, little hanging bridge animation. I'm using Blender 2.92 and let's dive into it. So first of all, um, be careful that your cursor's in the middle of the world. If it isn't, just hit Shift and C so it's centered. And now insert with Shift A, a curve path. All right, now we go with tap into edit mode and we just delete two of the five vertices. Here we go. Okay, so now we will make some settings um, for the curve, which will be clearer later. Just follow and um, we will go to the physics properties and make it a soft body. Okay, so now go again into edit mode to the middle vertice and um, make the soft go weight from 1 to 0. Okay, now we go into the um, soft body settings. Re Use the speed to 0.7 and um, increase the strength to 1. I will later explain what's happening. And just increase the pull and push to 9.5. Okay, so now go to object mode again and you can already press space and we see this hanging animation. So what's actually happening, we have three vertices and what we did is because per default they all have the weight of one and um, those two have the weight of one, we can go to the, our goal settings here and the strength is at one now, which means those two vertices are not able to move. But because this vertice is able to move, it will hang and bounce back. And the bouncing is because of the pull and push settings. That's pretty much it. Okay, so now the next thing we have to do, just duplicate the curve and go to top view maybe, go to edit mode, and now shift the curve along the y-axis, okay? And now it should behave like the curve in the middle which it does, which is perfect. And again, uh, uh, not again, but um, now we go to the modify properties and add a modifier, we add a mirror modifier and it should be mirrored along the Y axis. All right. So the next thing we want to add is the array modifier. And here, unfortunately, we cannot use um, relative offset. We have to lose a constant offset, which is no problem. And we want to make the constant offset in the Z direction. And we want to have the count of three. And now you can already see as we are slowly getting there, we are slowly getting to the, to the rope of the bridge. And because this is just one curve, we only have to make the settings once, which is nice, and go to um, the object data properties, and then to bevel, which is under geometry, and increase the bevel a little bit so it looks nice. Which means increase the depth. And um, it's always nice if you press shift, if you have like the small numbers, then it's easier to handle them. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for the rope. As you can see, if you press spacebar, it works. The next thing we want to add are the planks. Mesh. Now, be careful that the, curves, uh, the cursor is still centered in the middle. And we will add a mesh. And we add a cube. Reduce the size until it looks good to you. Doesn't really matter. Which, which values exactly you use, as long as it looks nice. And for me, something like this works, I guess. 
No, it's a little bit small, maybe. Make it a little bit brighter. Okay. And now we made this uh, this curve at the very beginning, and we want first of all um, we need more planks, obviously, and therefore we will use the array modifier. And after that, we will use a curve modifier. Okay. So um, the first thing we want to do is in the curve modifier click on curve and go on object nerves path now the next thing we want to do is increase increase the count and put it in the right direction and here you could also work with um, fit to curve but there are some issues especially if you didn't assign all the scales so for me it's fine if i if i do it like this it doesn't have to be um, 100% yeah now this was lucky it finished well for my taste if it didn't for oh okay well it didn't because I have to shift it a little bit and then you can see it's a little bit too long so I would just decrease the factor so until it fits more or less it doesn't have to be perfect and here we go, that's almost finished, and because it's aligned to the curve, it bounces with the curve, which looks just very charming, I think. The next thing we want to add are the poles. Um, just go to add mesh, cylinder, um, per default I think it's 32. I like to make it a little bit low poly, so I already made it to 6, because it's my second attempt. <laughs> And um, I like this look, so it works for me. Just decrease the scale a little bit. And by the way, usually it's always good to name the things, but here it's only three, so it doesn't really matter. And um, that's actually a bad habit to not do it. Shame on me. <laughs> uh, go to edit mode, shift it to the side until it uh, finishes with the planks. And now we can... Um, Click on the top face, G, S, make it as high as the highest rope, maybe a little bit higher and here, just make it as big as it looks good to you. And now we will do pretty much the same as we did before. First of all, we will add a, um, we will add a mirror modifier, mirror along the Y axis. Then we add a, um, an array modifier again. Now we, use, now we have to use the uh, X factor. And um, we will tweak the settings later after we apply the curve modifier. And by applying, I don't mean apply it, but just use it pretty much. Okay, so now we have the curve over here. Now I will just name it um, um, lead, so it's easier to yeah to decide which one is which. Okay, it's it's this one. Perfect. Now you can already see it's again it's following the bouncing of the curve. Okay, um, now we, you can just increase the count as much as you want to. I think this is a little bit too narrow, so I will just make it a little bit... The distances between the, the poles a little bit bigger. Just see whether it finishes well. And it does. For me it looks fine. It actually looks very nice. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And um, now you can see it's all working together smoothly and uh, it's very beautiful. You can now do with the bridge whatever you want to. Obviously, I would just give it some quick colors so it looks nice. And I already added some lights, so that's why you can see the colors already. Base color. Um, Maybe a little bit darker for the poles. 
yeah, we'll use a different wood color so there's a nice contrast and um, this one is more beige. <laughs> I don't know the English word but it's very yeah it's very white with some orangey tones and this is our finished result and yeah see we have this bouncing little bridge thank you so much for watching i hope you have a beautiful bridge now too and you like the tutorial if you do so um, please leave me a like and a subscription as you can see my channel is quite new so it really helps me out thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day goodbye